welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Simply Stacy, and today I have something very exciting for you. I'm going to be filming and styling five different looks. This is for like the edgy worker or somebody has an edgy style but wants to be still work professional. So this is the workwear lookbook. This is the lace and the leather edition. Stay tuned. Okay, so actually I have on my very first outfit. So this is a cable knit chunky chunky black turtleneck. I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can actually see. It's very, very chunky. And I've paired it with this long, long, I guess we call it midi length leather, I mean, sorry, lace skirt. So it is high waist and it is lace all the way down. I got it from Zara. I absolutely, absolutely love this skirt. So first look is all about the lace. Put on a cable knit sweater, monochromatic, very, very Black on black on black, super, super chic. Okay, so next up we have this beautiful skirt. Okay, so it is pleated, it is plaid, it is midi length. And I know you're trying to wonder um, how does this fall into that lace and leather edgy look. But if you look really closely, you can see the sheer layer of lace that separates the two tiers of this skirt. I absolutely love this skirt. I got it from New York and Company. Never would have thought I would have seen this skirt there. One of my favorite purchases from that place. But okay, so here it is, and I'm gonna pair it with just another turtleneck. This is very um, thin though. This isn't as chunky as the one I'm currently wearing. I love turtlenecks for fall. I love um, turtlenecks to, to tuck in. They always look very, very nice, so. Stay tuned. These are paperback pants. They're super cute. Um, they are from Target. They are deep brown. They're super cute. They have a tie belt at the waist. And I'm going to pair it with, as you can guess, probably another turtleneck. It is a turtleneck. However, it is a bodysuit that I got from Boohoo. And it's actually kind of sleeveless, just a little ruffle on the sleeves. But remember, it's wintertime and it is for work. So I am going to pair it with a jacket, so stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back, as you can see, high, super high waist pants. This again, as I said before, is a bodysuit. So the reason I like it is because there's no chance of it coming up out of the pants. It fits in nice and smoothly and looks actually fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to pair this with a jacket. As we said, these are work looks and it is not spring or summertime. So I have this I have no idea where I got this jacket from. I've had it for years, um, but it's just a little black, kind of maybe short to three quarter inch sleeve. It has huge black buttons and it's a cotton material. So I'm just gonna put that over it, okay? You guys can kind of see where I'm going with this. And I have been, um, I haven't shown you my shoes, but you've seen them in all the videos. I've pretty much been wearing the same pair of boots. They're black suede booty um, from Talbot's. My mom got me these for my birthday one year and I absolutely love them for fall. They go with absolutely everything. The heel is a good height. It's not too high, um, definitely not too low and they're very comfortable. <laughs>
leather and lace edition. We've done two lace and this is my first leather outfit with the pleather or the um, faux leather pants that I got from Target. And next up is a skirt. It is a pleated faux leather midi skirt. Um, this one actually may go to the knees. I got this from The Limited. Absolutely love that store. So sad that they closed. But this is from The Limited. I'm going to pair it with a denim blouse and a long vest. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm back and as you can see, I have on my pleated black faux leather skirt. I have this long line vest. Okay, so it has a single button here. You could leave it button, but I like to leave it open. I got this from the limited before they closed. Um, like I said, most of my professional attire came from there. As long as I'm still the same size, I'm gonna keep, 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 keep wearing this stuff. Okay, and then I have this denim. So this denim, this is actually a newer denim shirt. I owned several, several shades. I love denim. Um, and it's a way to get your like casual denim wear out when it's not um, casual Friday. And it's basically by just wearing it as a blouse instead of, you know, denim pants. But I pair this with a lot of stuff to dress it down um, and stuff like that. Okay, I actually put on this necklace. Um, I'm not really sure where I got this from. Possibly Express. It's silver. It just adds a little bit to the to the look but my i'm sorry my denim blouse came from old navy i just got this one um probably about a month or so ago so super cute it's the dark denim and i'll let you see the whole <laughs> for sticking with me i am on look number five this is the final look and this edgy piece is actually a leather peplum kind of camisole and i am going to pair it with this midi skirt it is plaid it is from zara and a blazer that is in a maroon color and it is a bcb i believe generation blazer so here goes. Okay, I'm back. And really quickly before I put on the jacket to make this work appropriate, I did want to mention that every outfit that I've tried on earlier definitely goes from work to play, from work to happy hour, dinner, drinks, dates. You can do it all. So that's one of those things like, oh, I have somewhere I want to go tonight, but I want to be work appropriate. Then you can either like take off your blazers, take off your uh, vest or something you can leave them on but you can take them off and then you're ready to fit in at the party okay so as you can see this zara skirt is actually high waist which i love 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 and then this is more like a really really short crop peplum leather um camisole and i'm going to put a jacket over it so that you guys can see how we go ahead and class that up a bit but it looks very very good for after out Okay, so as you can see, I put on this maroon blazer. I'll show you the whole look. I'm gonna put on some jewelry too so that I get a kind of conceal this cleavage just a little bit. Okay, really quickly, I paired it with this Aldo chunky statement necklace with all the maroon, the black, turquoise, a little bit of purple in there, but it really brings this whole look together. And it also draws the attention up to my neckline instead of my cleavage, even though it's not a whole lot of cleavage, right? But I mean, this is a work outfit, so I'll give you the full. <laughs>
Hey guys, the one thing I did want to mention to you all is that every book I did in this particular um, lookbook is I wore all of my skirts with just my bare legs out. But hey, it's winter time and I'm going to be 100% honest, I am super cold all the time. So I always have on leggings, um, a pair of sleek black cuddle duds, tights for the fall. So keep that in mind when you're putting your looks together. If you live in a cold climate like we do here currently, it is snowing. Yes, it's snowing outside right now. So I just want you all to know that I do not go out with my legs out in the wintertime. I put on leggings, I put on tights. Um, probably all of them would be black since most of the things I wore today um, had black in them or were mostly black. So that's all I wanted to say. Thanks. Hey guys, there you have it. That was the last outfit. So you have five looks with the edgy piece to make it work appropriate. Hi guys, thanks again for tuning into my channel. Thanks again for tuning into this video on work attire, the lace and leather edition. Hopefully if you have some um, pieces that you think, oh, they may be a little too risque or a little bit edgy and you wanna keep your vibe, hey, try some of these styles. There's always a way to make edgy work appropriate, especially depending on the industry you work in. So until next time, See you later. Hi guys, I know I said I had five looks for the lace and leather edition, the edgy workwear. However, I have one bonus look for you. And this is um, a bonus look because it's something I probably would never wear to work only because of the industry I'm in. Some people have uh, more creative jobs, more edgy jobs, and they probably can get away with wearing leggings. So I actually have on a pair of like the pleather or the faux leather leggings. They actually have pockets, which make them feel like um, their pants. I've paired it with a long um, t-shirt with the buttons. I guess it's more like the thermal type of uh, material and then a blazer that is pretty long. It covers like mid. You can see where that stops. Um, it's still professional because I kind of did black, 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 black and my blazer is the only thing that has a pattern to it. But it's a really cute look, so if you work in anything creative or you guys have more of a lax kind of uh, work wear, you probably could get away with leggings. I personally can't do it. channel more videos are coming your way so please hit that bell so that you can be notified when the next video is uploaded thank you